how to set up agile project management in taiga so hello everyone so in today's video i will show you guys on how to use taiga for project management so without further ado let us begin so after signing up the first thing that we will need to do is to just simply create a new project so just click on new project right here and then from here you can create a project so you can create a scrum project or a scrum view kanban view duplicate a previous project that you have made or import a project from multiple platforms into taiga so for me i'll just choose the scrum i'll click on that and then after that just enter your project details right here like project name so i'll just name this project name as well and then for the description i'll just add description and then at, at the very bottom over here you can either set this as a public or private project so for me i'll just name it public project and then just click on create project and then once you're done you'll be redirected here so first we will need to add our user story so just click on add user story right here and then after that just input the subject of your user story so i'll just add subject over here you can also add the description over here if you want to add tags so you can enter a tag right here you can also add attachments if you want to upload attachments and then in the right side over here you can set its status right here I like new ready in progress ready for test done or archived and then at the bottom you can choose the location of this user story so it can be at the bottom or on top next is you can assign this to anyone in your team so you can so you can assign this to anyone in your team or to yourself so as an example i'll assign it to me and then in the points over here you can add the points for its ux design front and back and after setting those points you will have a total points counter right here at the bottom next is you, next is you can also add due dates right here so for example i'll make it around november 30th next is if next is if you want to add your team just click on this next is if you want to make this a requirement just click on this right here so it says that this is a cl client requirement so it is a new requirement that was not previously expected and is required to be of the project so if you have those kinds of user stories make sure that this is checked and then lastly is the block so block this item so for example if it has a dependency that cannot be satisfied and then once you're done just click on create and then there you go you now have your first user story so when i click on this user story right here it will then again show me the options inside this user story so we can get to edit the description again change its name add more tags add attachments add tasks right here under this user story so i'll, so I'll just add some tasks right here like task one and save let's add another one task two and make sure to save and then when i click on these tasks right here we can also edit the details of the ta of these tasks like changing its name adding tags adding a description attachments comments and then in the right side over here you can assign these to people in your team like to yourself or to the people in your team and also add watchers again you can also set due dates promote to user story block this item or simply delete this task next at the bottom over here you can also add comments so yeah so if you have comments regarding this user story you can enter them here and then the right side again the point setting will show up the assign section the watcher section you can also again edit your due dates make it as a team requirement client requirement lock this user story or simply just delete it if you want to delete it and then that's pretty much it next is when i go to this section over here when i click on status i can also change the status of this user story right here so let's say i'll move it to in progress and then this user story will now be in progress and then you'll also get to see the points right here and then when i click on these three dots again i can edit this user story delete it or move it on top so that's pretty much it for the backlog next is you can also bulk edit some user stories over here so so if you want to add multiple user stories just enter them per line right here so i'll just add them one two three and four and then again you can change their status and their location and then once you're done just click on save and then those user stories will now be added to your backlog so as you can see over here it is now added to my backlog and again when i click on these newly added user stories 
You can also edit their details right here, like adding tags, changing the name, description, adding attachments, adding tasks, comments, and editing the details over here in the right side, like the points, assigned, watchers, and these features right here at the bottom. And then next, you can also filter out user stories over here. So when I click on filter, you can filter them by status, tags, assigned to, roles, created by, and epic. Or you can also exclude filters over here, like exclude statuses, exclude tags, and so on. You can also create custom filters over here just by clicking on add, and then you can add those custom filters. Next is the search bar. So this can also help you in filtering your user stories. So just enter the subject over here or reference, and then those user stories will now be searched. And then in the right side over here, we can add a sprint. So when I click on add the sprint over here, we can now enter our sprint name. So I'll just name it sprint. And then here you can set the start date and the due date of this sprint. And then once you're done, just click on save. And then there you go. So in here you can add or drop stories from your backlog to start a new sprint. So for example, I'll just drag this there. And then that user story will now be transferred to this sprint. And then when I click on this sprint dashboard, it will redirect me here. So in here, we can drag these tasks in the sprint to in progress, ready for test, close, close, needs info, and a lot more. So feel free to check this section out. You can also filter out some tasks right here. So it's the same thing as the one that I showed you a while ago. You can exclude statuses, exclude, and etc. And you can also use the search bar over here if you want to search up for a specific subject or reference. And then at the bottom right here, you can also add sprint issues like tags so just click on that and then just enter your filter issue right here and then just input the description and then you can either choose if it's an existing issue or a new issue so if it's a new issue just enter the subject over here add the tags description attachments and then the type of issue the severity the priority due dates and of course if you want to lock this issue and then once you're done, just click on create. So that's pretty much it for the sprint section. And then if you want to delete the sprint that you have made, just click on this pencil icon right here. And then just click on this delete button right here. So it says right here, do you want to delete the sprint? Just click on that and then just click on delete. And then that sprint will now be deleted. And then there you go. Next is under this left side over here, there's an issues tab right here. So again, you can create issues over here with your project. So again, just click on new issue, add the subject and so on, like the description, attachments, the type of issue, severity and priority. So feel free to explore this section out and then you are pretty much done. And then when I go to my project name right here, so when I click on this, it will redirect me here. So in here, we'll get to see a history of all the things that we have done in our project. So we will get to see if we have created a new user story, created a tasks, updated something in the statuses, deleted something and a lot more. And then at the top right here, you can also like this project, set it to watching, or you can simply contact the project team right here. So you can contact the people in this project. And then lastly, if you want to add members over here to your project, what you want to do is just simply go to settings right here, go to members. And then from here, you can add a new member just by clicking on new member right here and then just input their email right here. And then you can now send an email to them. And then all they have to do now is to accept that invite. And then in the settings section over here, you can also edit out the project details, the attributes, the permissions, the integrations and plugins. So feel free to check this section out. And then lastly, to delete this project, just go to project over here in the settings and then just simply click on delete this project. And then it will ask you if you're really sure that you want to delete this project. So if you're sure, just click on yes. And then after that, that project will now be deleted. And then that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to set up agile project management in Taiga. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more tech tips. That is all.